Hello guys and welcome to Stone Coders. Today we'll be talking about how a typical Trojan virus works and uh, we have for you today a uh, payload which is here and a, an infector, infector file which is here. And um, the way you get the Trojan or the way that they are is that you download a program that you think is helpful or something that, that you'd want but the program just cheats you and is really a virus. Now normally this happens when people do illegal piracy and stuff like that and crack stuff but uh, we are just we just made a, a false Firefox installer with a little nice logo here and um, this is of course uh, the infector and uh, we're going to run that now by and this is where most people would probably think oh shit the crack didn't work I don't give a crap let's go ahead and find another crack so they'd press OK, but they wouldn't know that this would happen, like uh, it copies itself into our System32 folder by the name of Winit32. You see it has the little, little nice uh, Fox, Firefox uh, logo there, and it also makes a registry entry into run, which is, uh, it basically runs this Winit every time it, uh, the computer starts up. So every time the computer starts up, the virus fucks you over right again. It is uh, a horrible, horrible thing that can happen to you. Now, this is where it would normally run the payload, the infector. And uh, the payload, it, uh, it goes into your startup folder. And holy shit, it copies everything from your computer into your startup folder. And just does a counter that uh, gives them numbers so we don't have to find names for all of them and we're just gonna let this run <laughs> while I uh, explain how they're coded uh, so we're going to the infector first and um, this is very very shortly uh, coded this is not a big thing all it does is that uh, first off it makes a string that it's its start path it, we need to know that so we can use the uh, variable to make it shorter and uh, we uh, show with a message box that the place where it starts is not a valid win32 this is the point where you would think oh shit the crack didn't work and uh, here we just explain which button it it has and, and stuff like that and uh, here it copies itself uh, from the start path of course the file copy into the system directory which is uh, by the name of win in and uh, then it goes ahead and makes a registry entry you know that thing where it starts up every time the computer starts up it's pretty simple it does nothing but that so uh, we're gonna go ahead and close that now if we can do that <laughs> I'm not really sure but uh, otherwise I'm just gonna open payload so we start off here guys in the form 1 this is where it, uh, it uh, starts off and this is what it does it uh, it tries to infect the folders uh, C and C Windows and C Windows System 32, and um, we made this infect folder thing as a, it takes a string that's called uh, dir for directory, and uh, we just uh, did a safety thingy here where we uh, set them so there would be no errors from the error arrays just being zero, so we put them a default value, and. Um, it should try and do this, which is get all the directories from the, the directory we give it and the files from the directory we give it. And it should catch a stack overflow exception because we have some problems with that. And um, for each string there is in uh, string file, there is in files, this is just uh, for every file there is, it copies the file into our special folder, which is the startup folder, of course and it gets them the counter which is the number and a path, ex path extension which is like uh, jpeg or something like that and uh, it just uh, for safety measures we do this it shows a message here if something happens and that's basically how this works so I've uh, left this running and I am almost thrilled to see the startup folder now it's gonna be completely overflown with different stuff. I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and stop it here. So we're back on my computer after it's restarted and 
we start up and a lot of shit happens. We, uh, I have no idea what's happening now. This is just, uh, what, 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 what? Oh god. <laughs> Look at all of this. I'm like, oh, I'm trying to close it. Cancel, no. Cancel it. No, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> no. Oh, this is scary. Look. All of this was in my startup folder and it's just getting worse. Oh. <laughs> it's even speaking to me now. <laughs> the computer itself is so scared shitless that it's speaking. Holy shit, look at this. How annoying would this be, right? All because we just tried an illegal downloader for Firefox. That was very stupid. We're not gonna do that again. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> what can we do, <laughs> Vladimir? There is nothing to do. This is just completely... There was like... 4,000 files in there, it's it's gonna be impossible to stop it. We should, we should just close this. This is sad. The machine is in pain. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Well, I think you... Uh, <laughs> oh god! I think you get the message here, guys. Don't... Uh, don't fuck around with this this thing here. That's that's not a good idea. It's gonna it's gonna break your computer. Every time every time we open it, this happens, and and it's still running. The payload would still be running if we had connected the uh, infector with the payload. Of course, we didn't for for purposes of demonstration, but uh, we would have if uh, this was for destruction purposes, which of course we do not in any way endorse or. Uh, Oh god, what is happening? There is so much shit. Oh dear. Well, uh, I think this speaks enough for itself to conclude th this episode. This has been Dimitri from Stone Coders. I'm very happy that you're watching. Please, if you do like us, subscribe and uh, click the like button. It only takes a second. Bye, guys.